The Crafts Guild of Manitoba formed to organize an exhibition of handicrafts for the new Canadian Folk Song and Handicrafts Festival in 1928. This exhibit was such a success, branch members continued to participate in and organize exhibitions until the Guild disbanded in 1997. The Depression struck soon after the branch's formation, however this did not stop them from continuing on with their work. In 1933, branch members organized a display of handicrafts to be exhibited at the 8th Biennale Conference of the Federated Women's Institute of Canada, which was held at the Manitoba Agricultural College. The exhibit showcased works from nine different provinces, and the Manitoba portion represented numerous different national groups. Once again, the exhibit turned out to be a huge success. The Manitoba branch, later renamed the Crafts Guild of Manitoba, developed a reputation for putting together excellent exhibitions. They were often asked to participate in exhibitions at local, provincial, and national levels. One of their most celebrated events was the juried show In Praise of Crafts. This exhibit was the first juried show for Manitoba craftspeople. It was presented by the Crafts Guild of Manitoba in 1978 to celebrate their 50th anniversary. The success of their first juried show was evident because from then on the Guild went on to sponsor a juried show every second year for the next decade. Their third juried show received over 300 submissions, out of which only 107 were accepted and exhibited. Members of the Guild were praised for their hard work and it was recorded that over 2,000 people signed the guest book. Crafts of all mediums were exhibited, from quilts and table runners to ceramics and cutlery. The notion of high and low art was left behind in these exhibits, and crafts were celebrated and awarded for their artistic merit. The Guild's biggest and most important juried exhibition was their fifth and final In Praise of Crafts. Coined as a milestone in the creative progress of Manitoba crafts, the 1988 In Praise of Crafts marked the Guild's Diamond Jubilee anniversary. The exhibit was held at the Winnipeg Art Gallery and was called one of their best shows that year. To commemorate the special event and important anniversary of the Guild, a catalogue of the exhibit was printed. Depicted on the cover is Marilyn Stewart Stothers' piece, Mommy Will There Always Be Flowers, which won the Lieutenant Governor of Manitoba Medal of Excellence and the Bessie Bullman Best of Show Award. The Manitoba Crafts Museum and Library has in their collection the Table Linens by Ann Eyer, which received the Diamond Jubilee Award for Best Traditional Work. These juried shows, along with the numerous other exhibitions organized by the Crafts Guild of Manitoba, provided a space for craftspeople to exhibit their work, which in turn helped raise the status of crafts in Manitoba.